Okay, guys, let's solve this practice question together, which says, which of the compounds is a tertiary alkanol? Now, first of all, for you to know a compound that is an alkanol, that compound will bear the OH functional group. So you can see that all these compounds here, they have the OH functional group. So they are alkanol. But this question stated, identify the tertiary alkanol. And to know from the word tertiary, it means three level. Okay, so I'm going to explain as we progress in this class lesson. Meanwhile, this must be noted. To know the class to which an alkanol belongs to, to be specific in this question, they are asking us to get the tertiary alkanol. You basically see that the carbon that bears the OH functional group will be directly attached to three other carbons directly. Now, this is what I mean. If that carbon atom is attached to just one carbon directly, it is a primary alkanol. And if that carbon atom is directly attached to two carbons directly, it's a secondary alkanol. And if that carbon atom that bears the OH is directly attached to three carbon atoms directly, it is a tertiary, tertiary alkanol, okay? This must be noted for tertiary. The carbon atom that bears the OH will be directly attached to three carbon atoms directly. So, with all this said, let's analyze these questions and get our answer. Now, in the look of things, this is the carbon atom that bears the OH functional group. You can see it here. Is it directly attached to three carbon directly? Because this is what we are looking for. No, it is directly attached to just one carbon. Are you seeing it now? Is there an attached to what? Just one carbon. So what becomes the compound? Is it a primary, secondary, or a tertiary? It is a primary alkanol. So this can't be our answer. Now, looking at this particular carbon, is that is uh, 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 attached to the OH. So how many carbon atoms is it directly attached to? Just one also. This is the carbon atom we look out for. So how many carbon atoms is it directly attached to? Just one. So it's still a primary alkanol. Remember, we are looking for three, tertiary. So looking at option C, you can see here that this is the carbon atoms that bears the OH functional group. Okay, so if you look at this way, the way the compound was written, you see that the carbon atom that bears the OH is directly attached to three other carbons. You can see it now. It's directly attached to this carbon, directly attached to this carbon, and directly attached to this carbon. So with this, it is a tertiary alkanol. You can see it here, a tertiary alkanol, whereby for this carbon atom, is it a tertiary alkanol? Let's check. Okay, because it's directly attached to this OH, okay, to tell us it's an alkanol. But in the look of things, you can see it's not directly attached to two carbon atoms directly. Two. So, this particular carbon, or uh, this particular compound is a secondary alkanol because it's directly attached to just two carbon atoms directly. Okay, so you can see how questions like this works, okay? Because this particular question is a very, very popular jump uh, examination question. So, you have to take note of of this particular question if you are in nigeria okay for the jam exam okay so guys in the look of things what becomes our answer option c so you can see how it works so guys if you find this video helpful do well to click the subscribe button to this channel and also share this channel because i've made a lot of chemistry tutorial lessons that will help you improve greatly in, in chemistry and also if you are watching this video lesson on tiktok do well to click on the follow button and also share with your friends. Thanks for watching.